हाय फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक आज का टॉपिक है करंट सोर्स इन्वर्टर दैट इज सी एस आई सबसे पहले इसका सर्किट डायग्राम देखते हैं एक वोल्टेज सोर्स लेंगे और इसके सीरीज में हम इंडक्टर लगा देंगे ओके सो दिस विल बिकम अ करंट सोर्स नो यहाँ का वोल्टेज मान लेते हैं यहाँ का वोल्टेज है वी इन नाउ इन दिस वी यूज फोर थायरेस्टर्स And the load is connected between these two terminals. Let it is a. It is P. And load, as you know, it is capacitive load. Voltage across the load is P naught and current through it is I naught. And current source supply a constant current, I S. During positive cycle. Let it is T one and T two, and let it is T three and T four. During positive cycle, T one and T two on, and during negative cycle, T three and T four on. So I not is equal to I S in positive cycle, and I not is minus I S during negative cycle. Let's draw the form. During positive cycle, it is I S, and during negative cycle, it is minus I S. Is I not? Now we can draw easily. Waveform V not. If we select load as capacitive, V not is a triangular waveform. Like this. And current is lead by ninety degree. Is T not, and we can draw T in also V in also. V in is okay like this because V in is minus V not during negative cycle. Okay, so here we find. T not is equal to two times T in. Okay. So F in is two times F not. Okay. <laughs> Now we can write I not. I not is four I s by n pi sine n omega t because waveform is square waveform. So I O N is four I S by n pi sine n omega t. So from here we can say G is point nine and T H D is forty eight point three four. Okay. Now let us consider I L C load. Consider. RLC load. So we can write V O N as I O N Z N and I O N Z N we can write 
like this so phi u n is 4 v s by n phi sin and omega t plus phi n and z n for pure capacitive load for pure capacitive load v u on we can write for sorry i s i rather for i s by n z n we can write n omega c and phi n is minus 90 degree for capacitive load pure, cap pure capacitive load so v o n will be like this now let's see advantage of CSI advantage of CSI first is feedback diode is not required as in VSI we will use a feedback diode with a switch so in CSI we don't require feedback diode second is commutation is simple commutation is simple and for capacitive load load commutation is possible there is a possibility of load commutation possibility of load commutation okay third is inherently there is short circuit protection okay because due to inductor which present which prevents change of current so there is a protection inherently protection against short circuit circuit because when incoming thyristors is switched on outgoing thyristor is off so there is a protection against short circuit disadvantage disadvantage let's see disadvantage during commutation process the load applies high reverse voltage across the device so we cannot use low reverse blocking capacity devices such as GTO and IGBT so we have to use SCR only because SCR has high reverse blocking capacity okay so we cannot use generally low reverse blocking voltage devices such as GTO, IGBT and other transistors second is second disadvantage is during commutation if we like this this is the circuit diagram okay thyristor on thyristor 2 thyristor 3 thyristor 4 and here is a load okay and a voltage source or current source okay current source okay so if we connect commutating th capacitor directly across load this capacitor is discharged during steady state also okay this capacitor is discharged during steady state also therefore what we will do here we connect a blocking diode okay a blocking diode is connected now see we are using this capacitor due to this capacitor the maximum frequency of 
inverter is limited and it is limited to f max is equal to 1 by 4 r c r is the load resistance okay now question is arises why we use two capacitors c1 and c2 so one capacitor is used to block the reverse voltage of t1 and second is used to reverse to block the reverse voltage of t3 okay so in why this is why we use two capacitor c1 and c2 now if uh, load is resistive if load is resistive then we use class c commutation class c commutation okay this is all about csi in next class we will see ac drives ac drives